Hi guys, so you guys can see by this video, we are going to do Darlene's 19 month update. Um, I was going to do Darlene's 18 month update, but the reason behind that was because I didn't know, I had thought we had scheduled her 18 month checkup <clears throat> when we went to her first year, but it turned out that I didn't, so I needed to call, and I did, so we went to the doctors about two weeks ago, and she's about to be 19 months on the 4th, which is the day before Easter. So, anywho, we are here, and we're just going to show you guys what's been going on with Darlene, because a lot has been going on. She is just... Yeah, we're going to do Darlene's 19-month update. Um, So, let's just begin. Darlene now weighs 28 pounds. She's a really big, big chunky girl, and she is 34 and a half inches long. Doctor says she was fine, nothing to worry about, like, always. She's always been a really healthy baby, Um, so it's just been pretty good. I just... You know, as far as eating wise, she eats mostly anything. Um, she does actually eat carrots, carrots and vegetables in her soup. If I were to give it to her, like if I were to just boil the vegetables, she would not eat it, which is weird. Like I said, I did start off darling with carrots. Um, I think that's like her second choice of food um, when we were starting solids, and she like she liked them. I mean, she ate them. As growing up, she was just not really having it. And I just found out that she really only eats it on her soup. If we give her fried rice, like every once in a while, you know, she will eat it. Sometimes she will just spit it out. So it just varies, but for the most part, she only eats it in her soup. Um, it's okay. So, yeah. But as far as eating, like I said, she eats anything. She still eats three meals a day. Maybe around two to one snack a day. Mostly it's two. Sometimes we have gone to one. You know, just some days she'll eat more than others, you know, typical toddler. So, yeah, she, um, what is I going to say? She is now wearing size 4 in diapers. She still is wearing 4. I don't know when she's going to ever grow out 4. Oh, she's talking on the phone. And she is wearing 18 to 24 month clothing, mostly 18 months, 24. A few pieces here and there do fit her. But it's mostly 18 months, like I said, just varies. And then shoe size, she's five, she's six. Like, so she's size six, but five in Converse, you know, because Converse do tend to run a little bit, um, what is it called? Large? I don't know. So, yeah. Um, she is eating, I mean, she is sleeping throughout the whole night in her crib. Every night, well, since we moved out, some nights she'll sleep throughout, her, throughout the whole night in her crib, some days she'll kind of wake up and then she'll be with us in bed but for the most part she sleeps in her crib she still only takes one nap a day and it's anywhere from a, an hour and a half to two hours and a half the longest sometimes three but for the most part one and a half to two hours which is just amazing i really need that in the day because she's a toddler she gives me so many tantrums throughout the whole day and it's not like she gives me like a whole tantrum like 15 minute tantrum crying no if she wants something and i don't give it to her so she starts complaining but then after a while she gets over it she finds something new to play and she gets over it it's not really much she gives me a lot of long tantrums it's normally little small tantrums um she doesn't know how to talk. She still doesn't speak, I should say. I know around this month that you're supposed to know a few words here and there. Darlene knows about five to six words. She knows mama. She knows papa. She knows agua. She actually knows her brother's name. And she... What else does she know? She knows something else. She knows her brother's name. She knows agua. What else does she know? And there's another word. She knows bye. There you go. She knows bye. And she says wow wow when she hears dogs or when she sees dogs. So she understands what a dog sounds like. Um, the doctor told me or suggested me that I should she should learn 50 words when she hits the two year point. Darlene's 19 months and she only knows five to six words. It's a long process. I feel like Darlene will not know that many words because we do speak to her Spanish and English. So I feel like that will make it a little bit harder for her because, you know, she's going to learn two different languages at the same time. So I don't know. I just, I don't, I'm not really concerned about her speaking yet because I know that she's very young and I also know that she is learning two languages at the same time. So I'm not worried about that. 
Nadja, just like I said, just recommended me that she needs to know her body parts as well and her 50 words. She understands me. That's the good thing. She does understand me. If I tell her, bring me your shoe, bring me something, let's sit down, let's do this and that. She understands me, which is the good part. Um, I do not give her any time out. Honestly, I just kind of raise my voice at her. I know that's a big, huge controversy of yelling, but that's just kind of how it works. So... I mean, it's fine. You guys parent differently, as I as I obviously do. So, you know, yeah. She has started to actually start writing. Well, not writing, but she starts scribbling. She'll take a pen. She'll take a marker. Anything I'll give her, she's actually started, um, you know, what is it called? Um, scribbling and all that. She, I don't even know. I don't really know what much to say other than she is just very out of control. She wants everything she sees. She'll copy anything you do. She loves to help, though. That's the biggest thing. I always like to get her to help me as far as picking up her toys. She loves, you know, making the bed with me. You know, stuff like that she likes. She also likes helping me putting the stuff, the clothes in the laundry, the clothes in the dryer. So she's a very good help. I like that because I really think that they should learn how to clean and how to you know what i mean like obviously i'm not gonna make her clean her like her my her room or something but she has to understand that she has to pick up after herself as well um let's sit down how do you see this she knows how well she doesn't know how old she is but if we ask her how old she is she will say one okay there um so yeah Another thing is that the doctor did suggest me to start potty training her because around this like month or time is where mostly all girls no don't be right and I'm not are interested and will actually I guess potty train faster. So I hope that's been working out. We just got her her first potty training toilet today. So I mean we'll see how it goes. Honestly, I'm not really thinking if she's gonna do it I know but you know okay so like I said we will see if potty training does work out for us um I'm not gonna push it but I will try my best to get her involved in doing it she does go to the bathroom with me when we're alone she does go to the bathroom with me um so she kind of understands but I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it the doctor just suggests me that uh, for two weeks straight, every time we get up to the time before she takes a nap, and then at night, just to put her, you know, put her in the toilet, even if it's just for an hour or so. Even if she even doesn't, I'm sorry, even if she doesn't do anything, as far as she knows that she has to sit down and do her business right there, and then after a while, I have to undress her for four days straight and, like, put her in the toilet, stuff like that, she told me. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, I'm not going to push it to the limit where I'm just going to push her and push her and she's just going to, you know, just not do anything. So, we'll see. A lot of people have actually told me to start her, but I was always kind of like, no. Like, she knows when she does poo-poo, she knows it's her butt. When she does pee-pee, she knows it's in the front because we did show her that. But, I don't know. I mean, you guys should tell me, like, what can I do to kind of help? you know, potty training make it easier. Carolina is actually very good at transitioning. That's why I don't feel like it's going to be the biggest deal. Maybe it's going to be... Okay, like, when we transitioned her from cold sleeping to the crib, she was good. When we transitioned her from the bottle to the sippy cup, she was good. And now it's like, hopefully it's good if... Hopefully it's faster for us to go from diapers to potty training. We will see. Right? No, come over here. So she does love to grab everything and she's wanting to grab my phone. But you can't. She falls a lot. She runs a lot. But she always reaches out for me. She always says, my phone. No, you can't get it. So I believe that. Oh, and then for us, her teeth, we are going back in May, I believe. Because she still has to be put in the MI paste in it. Um, on her teeth, I mean. So, yeah. That's about it. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Just a lot has been going on with us with Arlene. And she's just very... I mean, honestly, if you guys see her, she is not a little baby anymore. Like, she does not have a baby face anymore. Like, look how tall she is. Ah, she's so big now. 
I just cannot believe she's like really big. Like honestly, she is very tall. Uh oh. Like I don't know if you guys can see her, but she is just a very tall baby now. And I just can't believe yeah. within five more months and she's going to be two. And I'm already excited to be planning her second year birthday. So anywho, that's about it guys. We will see you guys in our next video. Yeah. Diles bye. Diles bye. On your teeth then. Oh, and then as far as her teeth, she now has two, four, six, eight. I believe she's around 14 teeth already. So, yeah, I know a lot of people have commented, or I know one of my subscribers did comment saying that she has a lot of teeth, and yes, I know she does. But then again, she was also born with her two front teeth on the bottom, so it's just not really much new um so any anyway, we will see you guys in our next video and i will be doing a house tour soon but i just kind of want to first i don't want to show you guys yet because we still we don't have furniture not gonna lie we don't have furniture i don't want to show it to you guys like that but then i'm just thinking about it, like i'm gonna do it before and after so might as well just show you guys how it is right now and then after with the furniture and all so i don't know but anywho we will see you guys in our next video bye guys